All right, y'all. So a verdict has been reached in the Tory Lanez trial, and he was found guilty on all counts. He was found guilty on all charges. He is now in jail. He was handcuffed and taken to jail from court once the verdict was read. He will be sentenced the end of January. And his father was outside of the court going off to reporters talking about this is an, injust an injustice and calling out Jay-Z and Rock Nation. I mean, it, it's a lot going on. And to be honest, I felt he was going to be found guilty, but I just wasn't sure if it was going to be on all counts. And he was. So that says a lot, despite what social media was narrating, um, making people believe. Because I would hear and see a lot of things being posted on, on blogs. And then I would hear someone that was actually in the court and it would be totally different. So once I caught on to that, I'm like, I can't even believe what I'm reading and seeing because it's not accurate. So once the verdict is read, that's all I need. And that's why I know I did a video about this the other night, but this is why I've been real quiet about this whole situation because this is what it comes down to, what the verdict is. Because had it been that he would have been found not guilty, it would have been a celebration. The same way it is now for Megan, for people who support her and are against abuse. But you have people out here that are in support of Tory and are very upset that he is in jail now, possibly facing 23 years in deportation on top of that. But the thing is, this whole trial really gave me more info as to what happened that night, other than what we heard online and what Megan said in her interviews. The fact that this woman was not only shot, but beaten and jumped. It's, I mean, it's, I don't even know what to say. And then the, the bodyguard, him showing up today. So clearly he did not give a statement. He just showed face to show that he's alive. He dipped out on his testimony. It, it was a lot. This trial, it, it was a lot with this, even though it went on for, you know, a little under two weeks. All in all, this trial, it was hectic. It was a lot going on. And I had a lot of doubts. And to know that Megan got justice and she can finally rest, even though I'm, I'm sure she still is traumatized, but justice has been served. So she can move on with her life and put this behind her. This right here, I wouldn't wish on any woman to go through what she went through. That is not only scary, she could have lost her life that night. And then not only the incident that happened that night, we're talking about from then up until literally a couple of months before, before the trial started because her and Tori and Kelsey, all this back and forth so on, on social media, them saying this, them saying that, wait until we're in court and blah, blah, blah. And I did this and I did that. I mean, I was drained. It was just so much going on with this trial before it even happened, leading up to it. Then Kelsey gets on a stand and all of a sudden has amnesia, can't remember anything. It was just looking like, wow. Like, and then the fact that the jurors, it was unanimous, the guilty, all 12 of them voted guilty for him. And I thought that it was gonna be a mistrial. Th this, is, this is exactly the way I was thinking because of the online slander and what people were saying. And I'm not even the victim here, Megan was. So can you imagine how she felt? with people telling her that she's lying about something that happened to her. I know everyone wished that night never happened.
of course, Tory Lanez is going to appeal. His lawyer actually released a statement. Uh, the lawyer said, we are shocked by the verdict. There was not sufficient evidence to convict Mr. Peterson. We believe this case was not proven beyond a reasonable doubt. We will be exploring all options, including an appeal. So, like I said, his sentencing is scheduled for January 27th. And it says the judge scheduled Tory Lane sentencing for January 27th. He faces up to 22 years and eight months in prison and that they will be updating the law crime news article later tonight. So this, this is a lot. Um, I don't know if he'll get the whole 22 years. He'll probably get like 10. I don't know how this is going to work. Will he be deported? I would think so. This is not his first violent offense. Um, it's just the whole situation, the whole night should have never happened, period. When they went to that party, did they think it was going to end up in Meg Van Shot? Absolutely not. But this is where you got to really not lose it. People say things happen, mistakes happen. But in this situation, it should have been no reason why a gun was pulled on Megan the Stallion. I don't care if her and Tori were arguing. You cannot agree with what I'm saying, and you can agree. This is my thoughts on this. This is how I feel about this. A gun should not have been pulled out, period. Bottom line, I don't care about who was sleeping with who, what, who didn't leave. I don't care about none of that. Because none of that warranted a gun being pulled out and her being shot in her feet. Now, we need this one right here, the one who perjured herself, to face a consequence for doing so. She needs to be held accountable for her lies on the stand. Tory Lanez, they said that his son was crying and very upset today. And it's just like, you shouldn't, your son shouldn't have been there, okay? It's Christmas. You are on trial. That's not a place for a child to be. You don't bring your child to court with you when you're the one facing charges. This situation is finally come to an end. Because like I said, if Tory would have been, if he would have been found not guilty, people were literally waiting to boast about that, had that been the outcome. Tory Lanez never took the trial. I mean, never took the stand. For someone who's so innocent, you would have done that. Kelsey just, if it wasn't for that 80 minute audio that they had, didn't you have the neighbor that said what they said? Even all with all of that, I still felt that Megan or Tori would, would possibly be found out not guilty. So justice for Megan has been served. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. She deserves to finally be able to rest and forget about that night as much as she can. I know she'll never, ever, it'll never erase from her mind. She'll always remember what happened that night. But at least she doesn't have to worry about being labeled a liar anymore online because that's what people are saying that she was doing, that she was lying about even being shot.
So guys, let me know what you think. Tory Lanez has been found guilty. Leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to all of you again soon.